Hey, hello everyone. New day and I'm again working on my RV10 build project. Well, uh, so far in the last video, as you rem remember, I completed the uh, preparation of all my parts. So basically I uh, put them all in the primer. And today I'm planning to start actual riveting of my parts. And of course, two of my daughters will be helping me with that. So let's see what's going to be happening here. I'm not aware how it's going to go. I see there are lots of rivets which I have to put. So let's see.
So far so good. Uh, well, started to do a riveting. It takes time. It really takes time. Like lots of time. But still, so far so good. I have to do actually at the same time two separate parts, right? I mean, two same parts, left and right um, elevators. So that's why it takes that long. I have to to rivet one part, then switch over to another part. And for today, the day is over, but my work is not, obviously. I will continue to work on my elevators next working day. I mean, the video, I will continue this video just next working day, and I will try to add more material into it. But so far, so good, as I said, everything goes as expected. Lots of rivets. I found some mistakes in Vance manual. But aside of that, things looking good. All right, so new day and I'm continuing to work on my elevators. And the plan for today is to continue riveting. I hope I'll get everything done today. I'm not planning to rivet absolutely everything. So probably the spars will left unriveted, but on Clicos because of the Canadian inspection, right? So, but the rest I hope to rivet. Uh, and we will see, maybe I even be able to finish my trim tabs or at least to start to work on trim tabs. I will see, I don't know how it's gonna go. And yeah, well, let's watch what's gonna happen. So I did some little mistake and what actually happened is in the Vance manual they were talking about the that tiny the rear spar which has to be abandoned a little bit like inner band for about four degrees or five degrees. That's important part. So basically it's a U-shaped uh, spar and it has to be a little bit banded to the inner side by four degrees on each. Of the on each uh, side on each ear in my case I uh, actually missed that not not missed that but I didn't measure that so in my case it was exactly 90 degrees and when I start riveting an assembly I realized that my um, like the rear side of the elevators like the back side of the elevators is not really like that shape but it's more like like that so it's a mistake anyway what I have to do now is I have to do well sort of bending so I uh, with a wood I'm just like trying to bend that thing because it's already riveted that's a mistake I will see how it's gonna work out I hope it's gonna be okay but well that's that's a little problem
finally day has uh, working day has been finished so far what I have I have two elevators which are mainly assembled mainly riveted I'm still left with uh, the main spar which is not riveted but only on the clicos uh, that's due to the Canadian inspection so the bottom spar like the main spar the biggest spar is still on the clicos uh, on the side some parts are on, still on clicos just because I will not be able otherwise to properly rivet the spar what's left well basically I have to use that tank sealer to apply here for the trailing edge so that I'm gonna be doing next uh, working there in my elevators uh, I'm gonna be applying the tank sealer for the uh, leading edges that I'm gonna do and also I'm gonna be working on the trim tabs for trim tabs we also have to add some uh, some tank sealer there to install some foam inserts and also we have two foam inserts here in each of the elevators so far so good well it goes quite I wouldn't say it's slow but it's just it takes time lots of things to do so basically as I said in my previous video imagine I'm assembling two rudders at the same time so it's something like that even more complex like more work to do here and with the same time uh, there are some minor mistakes which I'm, I'm doing periodically like some rivets which I set which were not set well like I didn't find them well so I had to drill them out and it takes time so I'm not showing those things in the video often uh, I'm only showing like some major mistakes but there are some minor mistakes which happens I'm sure well for the first time builder uh, those mistakes are common and um, I think that the tail cone build <laughs> well I can imagine that probably out of all Vans airplanes built by the builders if you build it on your own and your first time builder probably the tail cone is the part which you practice on <laughs> mostly like practicing so there are some more mistakes in the tail cone while you start to work on your wings on your fuselage you have less mistakes anyway that is how it is for now and I see you in my next video subscribe to my channel and yeah about COVID-19 just stay safe hope everything gonna be fine soon and take care bye